Hi, thank you for joining. My name is Jesus. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up your DVR and your MBR that are the titanium series line for remote view. So you could access your MBR and DVR through your mobile phone, iPhone, tablet, Android, Mac computer, PC, Windows, from any type of device, anywhere, at any time. The method that I'm going to show you how to do the remote viewing, it will be doing the port forwarding. So now, let's begin the first thing that you need to do is get your MBR or DVR and get a cat5 cable and connect it into the LAN port of the DVR or MBR on the back which is this one and then the other side of the cable you will connect it to any available available ports in your home router or your business router for example, this one. Now in your DVR or MBR, click on the bottom left hand side on the start menu so you can log into the menu of the DVR or MBR. Select login and then type in the username and password of the DVR. The default username is admin and the password is 123456. Once you type the password, select login and then go again into the bottom left hand side of the menu and select the start and click on settings. Once you are in settings, under the network menu, select TCP IPv4. Now, your DVR or MBR may have an IP address that is not set for your network, so just Click where it says obtain an IP address automatically and then select apply. Before you exit the menu, go on the top menu where it says port and then copy these three ports. These three ports we're going to use them to do port forwarding in your router. Once you copy these three ports, you can exit the menu and then under the system menu, Click on information. Under information, you need to click on network status on the top. And then you're going to see your IP address, your subnet mask, and your gateway. Make sure you copy the address and the gateway because we're also going to use these two IP addresses. Once you have already copied that, you can select exit exit and now go to the nearest computer to do the following settings before we begin please read carefully the following steps once you have gathered all that information we can continue with the port forwarding so now let's begin let's open an internet browser on your internet browser you're going to type the IP address that you copy from your DVR or NBR under the gateway settings Now this window will appear. This is the username and password of my router. So let's type that in. As you guys see here, I have a Linksys router. Your router may be different, but if you also have a Linksys router, you can follow the same steps that I'm doing to do port forwarding. If you do not have the same router, refer to your user manual to go into the port forwarding section. So now, I need to go under application and gaming. Under application and gaming, I have to create an application name with the ports that I want to open. So now, let's name it anything we like. I will name it Titanium. The port is gonna be the ports that we copy from the DVR or MBR under the port settings. The first port was 8001. Now, very important, if your router only has TCP or UDP under the protocol options, you're going to need to do the port forwarding rule twice, meaning one for TCP and the other one for UDP, same port. I don't have to do that because I got the both option in the protocol. So I select both and the IP address is the IP address that I copy from the DVR under the address 
settings. I enable. Now let's do the second port. Once again the same IP. Now let's do the third port. Once again the same IP and I enable. Once I have this I select save and continue. And that's how you do port forwarding on your router. In order for you to check if the port are open let's go into another internet tab or another browser and we go to the website canyouseeme.org. On this website we are going to type in the ports. The first one was 8001. You have to see success in order for you to see your DVR or MDR remotely. So now let's try the other port. Success as well. Let's try the last one. Success. That means I open successfully all the three ports that I need for my DVR or MBR to watch remotely. Now I'm going to copy this IP address because this IP address is the one that I need in order for me to see my cameras remotely from my laptop or from my mobile phone. So now let's go into the mobile phone settings so I can show you how to add your DVR or MBR into the mobile app. Now in your mobile phone we're going to open Super Light Plus. If you have an Android or if you have an iPhone it's the same. Click on the top left where you see the menu and then select server list. Now click on the top right where you see the plus sign and we're going to add the DVR or the MBR that we set up for remote view. Under my device we're gonna type the IP address plus the port number. For me it will be 47.147.19.209 and then I put colon 8001. This is the IP address that we copy from the website canyouseeme.org. So now the nickname you can name it anything you like so you can identify it. I'm gonna call mine NVR. Now we're gonna type in the username and password of the DVR or MDR. The default username and password is admin and 123456. Let's type that in. Once you type the password, select done and you could either click on save or preview. If, if you select preview, it will automatically save and show you the camera. Let's click on preview. And now I can see my DVR remotely from any location. And that's how you set up your MBR for remote view. If you want to see the cameras remotely from your laptop and you are in the same building, meaning the same network, just open Internet Explorer and you can type the IP address that you copy from the DVR or MBR under the address settings. For instance, Why do I need colon 8001? Because I am not using port 80 under the HTTP. If your DVR or MDR has the port 80 under HTTP, you do not need to put 8001. So you simply would type it like that, 192.168.10.19. But because I don't have port 80 under my HTTP port, I have to put colon and the port number. If you see this window, you have successfully connected to your DVR or MBR. Let's log in. The username and password of the DVR or MBR, it may be the default password or the default username. Default username and password is admin and 123456. For me, I changed my password. Now I am logged in into my MBR unit. So I know I have successfully 
set up the MBR for local remote view. Now let's access it from a different location. Let's close the browser and get our external IP address. To get your external IP address, you can go to the same website that you check the ports. Can you see me.org? Now we're gonna copy this IP address. We make a new tab and we paste it. Remember, we have to put colon 8001. If you see this window, that means you have successfully opened the ports in order for you to see your DVR from anywhere. Let's log in. As you can see, I can see the live streaming video of my DVR or my MBR. And now, you have successfully set up your MBR for remote view. If you like this video, click the like button, share and subscribe for more upcoming videos. For more information, visit our website, easternctv.com. Stay tuned for more updates. And also, if you want to see the funny outtakes of this video, just wait until the last second of the video. Thank you for watching. Hi, my name is Jesus. Today I'm going to <laughs> Hi, my name is Jesus. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your remote view <laughs> the MBR DVR. Hi, my name is Jesus. Thank you for joining. Isn't it thank you for joining? My name is Jesus. Uh... Think. Think. Oh my god. <laughs>